Hey everyone. In this video I'm going to be making a vise stand for this home built vise that I built probably two months ago. And uh, it's been sitting around on the floor of my shop and I've been needing to get it put up on a vise stand. And I didn't want to just build a vise stand like everybody else is building where you got a pole on a on a tire rim. That I'm sure that works fine and it makes for a good stand, but I wanted to try something different. I picked up a scrap trailer axle. The axle's no good and it had another pipe welded to it. Somebody had tried to make a makeshift trailer out of it. It's all kind of rusted and had some some uh, welds that I had to cut off there. Anyway, I picked that up for five bucks and I thought, well, I can make a vice stand out of that. That and a piece of drill pipe that I got and some, some plate steel. If you haven't seen the video of the build of this vise, I'll link that video in the description of this video. And I made it for less than $50 just using scrap steel that I picked up at the salvage yard. So without any further talking, let's get to the video and I hope you enjoy it.
Here's the finished homemade or DIY buy stand. And I'm really pleased with the way it came out. It's pretty heavy, so it'll be stable, but it's still portable so I can move it around. And with those rubber feet I put on the bottom, it kind of stays put where you, where you set it. And those were made out of uh, some heavy duty bicycle tire inner tubes that had a bunch of holes in them and I just cut them up and use them for, for little rubber feet for things like this. I epoxied them on. I think I've got it at the height I want it to be at. It was all kind of a guess and I kind of designed it to work with my little rebar shop stool that I built. I try it for a while and do a few projects with it to see if the height was correct. But that way I can sit on my little shop stool and weld something that's clamped in the vise or cut something or uh, it's just uh, about the right height I believe. But it's really going to come in handy for some future projects. I've got some rebar bending that I would like to do for a project. And if I want to hold a piece of pipe or a piece of angle iron or steel or something like that and cut it with the plasma torch or grind on it, I can set it out in the driveway and then just blow the dust off into the, into the gravel. And it's going to work out real good for that. If you like these uh, videos where I build items out of just scrap materials or scrap steel, basically making something out of nothing, I'll list a couple of other videos I think you might like here on the screen. And you can go over there and check those out. We'll see you over there.